Good morning and welcome back to Morning Moments with Jesus. This is Christmas week, the week that we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I found myself this past weekend, from time to time, humming an old familiar song that most of us learned as children. That simply says, Away in a manger, no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. As I reflected upon that song this morning, I was reminded of Luke chapter 2 and verse 15 and 16. It said, It came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And it came to, and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. As I kind of drew back from this scene and took an overview of it in my spirit, I saw that there were different types of people who come in contact with Jesus this day and the days that followed. And I believe the Lord wants us to take inventory and self-examination of ourselves today of just where is Christ in your life today? You see, we can't keep him in the manger. That's a safe place. That's a soft place. We. We look up him, upon him as a baby in, in that manger, and that's a safe place to keep him. But this baby, who was 100% God, grew to be 100% man. He took upon the sin of the world upon the cross of Calvary. He was buried in a borrowed tomb, and three days later he rose from the grave. He ascended back up to heaven where he now sits at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and I. See, there were some in Bethlehem that day who had no room for Jesus. There were some like the shepherds who once they saw Jesus, they could not help but go tell others about him. And then there were the wise men who traveled untold distance just to spend a little time in his presence. And the, the Lord wants us to take self-inventory this morning, a self-examination on this week of Christmas. Where is Jesus in your personal life? Are you the person who would go to any lengths just to spend time in the Lord's presence? Perhaps you're the type of person who, once you are in His presence, you cannot help but tell other people about Him. Or sadly, maybe you're a type of person today that you've gotten so busy with life that there's no room for Jesus in it. This morning, I challenge you to please take a little time to spend a little time with Jesus and ask yourself, ask the Lord to reveal within you, where is Jesus in my life? What importance do I put not just on this baby that was born in a manger, but on the one who was exalted to the throne. Is he Lord of my life? Does he govern my every decision? Who is Jesus to me? I always pray that you're safe, that you're strong, and that you're blessed. 
It's not a cliche. It's not something I just say. I humbly desire today that you walk in those things. But you got to know where Jesus is. You got to know who he is to you if you're ever going to enjoy Christmas. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, I do pray you have a great day. May God keep you. May God bless you. Amen.